Muscle tissue is designed to allow movement of the body. Muscle tissue is made up of cells that are capable of contracting, meaning they're capable of getting shorter in one direction. And so if you have a lot of these cells lined up together and if they're all connected, then when they all contract, what's going to happen is that whole section of tissue will get shorter in one dimension. Um, so this ends up allowing us to do things like move our skeletons. It also allows a lot of other movements Movement throughout the body that we're maybe not even consciously paying attention to. So muscle tissue it comes in three different varieties. Let's go through the three different varieties. First up on the list we have what is called skeletal muscle. And skeletal muscle is what you have voluntary control over. And this is probably what you think of when you think about muscles, like the muscles in your arms um, and in your legs. These are all made of skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle is named such because it allows us to move our skeletons. So these are muscles that, for the most part, connect um, to, to bone. They connect to our skeletons. And by contracting the muscles, um, that causes the bones to move as well. This is what skeletal muscle looks like. It has a pretty characteristic appearance. Um, and the cells, we say that, that they are multinucleated. What happens actually is we start off with a bunch of individual cells and then during development, early on in development, those cells fuse together and so all of their nuclei end up being sort of grouped together in, in this really long, it's called a muscle fiber, this is like a really long muscle cell that results. Um, but anyway, some, some key things to take away regarding skeletal muscle is um, that it allows us to move our body parts and that it, it is under voluntary control. You can choose when you want to contract this type of muscle or not. Next up we have cardiac muscle. This is the type of muscle that's present in the heart. And this type of muscle, you do not have voluntary control over. This beats involuntarily. Even if you try and think about it, you, you just don't have control over cardiac muscle. Um, it's controlled by a different route in the body. And it looks a little bit different. It has more branch points. Um, it has these special dark discs. These are called intercalated discs. Those were not present in skeletal muscle. Um, so there are a few differences just in terms of how things look. And then third on the list here is smooth muscle. Smooth muscle is called smooth because it looks smooth. Um, I don't know if you can see it in these pictures or not, but skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle, they have these lines. These are called striations. And smooth muscle does not have those same lines. So that's why it's called smooth. It looks smooth in a microscope. This is the type of muscle that surrounds a lot of our internal structures, a lot of um, a lot of things internally, like the digestive tract. All of the intestines are lined with smooth muscle, and when that smooth muscle contracts, it helps to churn the food and move the food along through the digestive tract. Um, so this is another type of muscle that is not under voluntary control. It just does what it's supposed to do automatically, so it's involuntary. And that kind of sums it up. Three different muscle types 